Oswald was born in New Orleans. After serving in the U.S. Marines and living in Russia, he returned in the summer of 1963 to this area. We're approaching the old post office building, where, which is uh, right across the street from the Newman building at 544 Camp Street. What was there? Well, this is uh, the address which Lee Oswald gave for his first fair play for Cuba pamphlets. Now, this building, 544 Camp Street, is the building in which Guy Bannister had his office on the side. Guy Bannister, of course, is the most militant, the most militant uh, uh, right-wing, uh, uh, extremely conservative, anti-communist -com individual in the city of New Orleans. There is simply no question about the fact that the Riley Com Coffee Company was a nesting place for Lee Oswald. He was put here. This was his CIA assignment. In other words, as I pointed out before, his immediate superiors in Dallas and his immediate superiors in the CIA in New Orleans are involved in the assassination. Not might be, they are involved. And consequently, the impression was created uh, on his part that he was following orders and he just had to stay at the Riley Coffee Company until the time came when he was to penetrate uh, the right-wing operation here and, and, and in the course of doing that, to go through these motions of being a a uh, left-wing uh, individual, a communist. Well, this is one of the bases in New Orleans for United States intelligence operations. And uh, they, have a, they had a number of uh, intelligence agencies here. We've confirmed at least one was here. So Oswald was, had been placed across the street, uh, where he was obviously in some sort of contact with them. And then if you go around if you go around to the right, there's Riley Coffee Company. Here's the old post office building where U.S. intelligence agencies operated from. And if you go over here, you can see two men, two men opening a truck. Now, if you go line over the truck, there's a white building. And that white building is the Newman building, which is at 544 Camp Street. And uh, as I said earlier, that's where Guy Bannister's office was. And uh, David Ferry hung around in Guy Bannister's office. And... Uh, of course, Lee Oswald has been seen in Guy Bannister's office. The Garrison case began last February with David Ferry, a strange man, commercial pilot, private detective, anti-Castro fighter, and bishop of an offbeat cult. Ferry said Garrison had fingered him as the getaway pilot in the plot. Four days later, he died mysteriously in this house. Here, according to Garrison, Oswald met Ferry and members of the Minutemen, a secret and violent group who train with bombs and machine guns to kill communists. After Ferry's death, two Minutemen arrived and took away papers. 